to you, and this is really pertinent to your position, I think, because you may be Foreign Secretary in, in a few weeks' time. Trident. I've interviewed Diane Abbott, and we have together, Diane Abbott and John McDonnell and various other senior members of your party about this Trident situation, and there's been a lack of clarity. So I think it's very important, given you may be in government soon, that we get some clarity here. OK. Labour's position is that you support the renewal of Trident, which could be between 100 and 200 billion over 30 years. Is that correct? Our position is that the decision has been made and so we've moved on. Right, so the, the, the standing position of the party right now is that you support the renewal of the Trident nuclear missile programme. The standing position of the party at the moment is that the decision has been made and we're moving on. Do you agree with it as the Shadow Foreign Secretary? I believe in practical politics and a decision has been made, so we're moving on. Yeah, but do you support the use of the Trident missile system? You, you could be Foreign Secretary soon. Do I support the use of the Trident missile system? We will have a Trident missile system. We will use everything which is available to us to protect our country. OK, so the purpose of a nuclear deterrent is that you spend all this money on this sophisticated nuclear weaponry and it deters people because they believe you would actually use it. Jeremy Corbyn, your leader, is on the record as saying he would never fire a nuclear weapon. Can you explain to our viewers how that deterrent would work if the Prime Minister is Jeremy Corbyn and he has a stated position himself of never using a nuclear weapon. The use of a nuclear weapon is a decision on a level that no politician anywhere has to make. It is completely out on its own. And no one in the end knows whether how they would use it, whether they would use it, because it is it has such extraordinary <sighs> It has such extraordinary force and, 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 and millions of people can be killed. If we are in, a, in circumstances where we are under threat, it's impossible, I think, for any human to say whether they would be prepared to kill millions in but order he, to be able said, to protect. But he has said it, Mr. Orme, and isn't I think that, Jeremy and I th Corbyn I has, think, he has answered that question. That's my point. And he I has think, stated his position as he would never use a nuclear weapon. So, again, and, I put it to you, if he's Prime have, Minister... And you are foreign secretary, and this is, this could be very serious and very real mm. in four to five weeks' time. Would you use a nuclear weapon to defend this country if you had to? So Margaret Thatcher and generations of politicians and leaders have said that they are not prepared to say one way or the other but whether they would use. Said. Oh, come on, let me finish. So, no leader has said, one way or the other, until very recently, whether they were prepared to use the nuclear weapon or not. So, we've had Conservative leaders recently saying they would press the button. We've had Labour people recently saying they wouldn't press the button. I'm certain... I'm of the view that it's best for us not to say, one way or the other, whether we would use it or not, just as we have done for generations. OK, but Jeremy... You know, so, so again, tens, I, I... Tens sorry, of years. Sorry to interrupt. Going I know back you don't like history, me interrupting. I just, I just like kind of being given 15 seconds to answer a question. Well, you've just literally been given a minute to answer a different all question. All right, well, I'm, I'm trying to do my best not to answer the question. Yeah, but if only you were answering the question. My question to you was very straightforward. Jeremy Corbyn has a stated position that he would never use a nuclear weapon. Can you explain to me, if you become the government in a few weeks' time, how the nuclear deterrent would work if the man in charge of ordering that use has said he would never use it. Where's the deterrent? I think that we... It's very difficult to imagine, realistically, in what circumstances you would use a nuclear deterrent. The circumstances might arise. It's very difficult to imagine how the dynamics would work before a decision was made one way or the other. Whether it would be one person's decision, whether it would be a group of people's decision. I think this is... This is not helpful in terms of, of being able to paint real pictures of what may happen in reality, because no one knows in what circumstances you might even, people might even say to you, use your nuclear deterrent now. You know, in well, what, let me how give you, bad, let me how bad okay, is well, it? Let me paint how you. bad is it that you would then start saying, OK, allow I'm going to, to be prepared allow to me kill to, a few million people? Allow me to give you a hypothetical. Nobody wants to use a nuclear weapon. No. But nobody, right? No, however, exactly. However, let me paint a picture to you. Right? A rogue state or Russia or some nefarious regime out there decides to attack us, right? which, which people fear may happen if there's a Labour government. They fear that because of Jeremy Corbyn's stated position about this kind of thing, it makes us vulnerable and weak. It does well, not so, 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 OK, so you're, you're, you're imagining a situ situation where, because Jeremy Corbyn has become Prime Minister, Russia decides to nuke us. No. Is that, is that the no. situation? No, let, okay. me, let no. me explain to you very clearly what I'm saying. 
Right. I'm saying you cannot rule out where an attack may come, right? History has shown that. Now, if, if you give me a scenario, come I'm on. I'm giving you a scenario. It. So somebody uses some form of nuclear missile to attack somewhere in the north of England. And we right. have... So we're getting nuked by who? Well, by... By, by a rogue state but, or by a nefarious state or by some regime that's gone rogue. Who knows, right? I'm not guessing where the enemy may come from. What I'm okay. saying to you, here's the hypothetical you wanted. And they launch a nuclear strike at somewhere in the north of England. Manchester, Newcastle, right? And we now know they are planning to send another one to London. What does Jeremy Corbyn do? <sighs> Who knows? I mean, and that's kind I'd of like the point. To know. No, I'd like no, to know. You... you are devoting 100 to 200 billion pounds of British taxpayer money in your stated manifesto policy to renew a system. I would like to know is Labour going to use it? So. This, this state which has decided to, to nuke Britain, when they know that Britain has nuclear weapons and that we're part of NATO. So they've decided to nuke Britain and they are, they're, they're confident, are they, that we wouldn't use our nuclear weapons in retaliation? I think given and... that Jeremy Corbyn has said he would never use a nuclear weapon, they'd be confident, yes. Well, That's my point. That's I my whole that... point. Well, and my whole point is, is that if you're going to have nuclear weapons, there needs to be, as there has been for decades, an ambiguity around whether you but would Emily, use it or not. there is no ambiguity. And, and, and Jeremy and Corbyn has removed the ambiguity you keep saying you want. Jeremy Corbyn's stated position is he would never use a nuclear weapon. Then why the hell would you renew a system to protect us against it? Because the decision has been made by this current government. This current government has... You support has it! No, 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 we have yes, said... Yes, yes, you do. No, Piers, you listen support to it. what I'm saying. The government have made a decision, they have decided to renew, that decision has been made and we are moving on. That's what I said five minutes when ago. When you're in government, Emily Thornbury, when you're in government, you are allowed to not do that kind of thing. You can say well, we well, don't so agree you, with so it. We would, so we would take away... So, OK, so you're suggesting... Oh, there are so many hypotheticals here. It's, this what? is crazy. So, None so of this is actually hypothetical. Yes, it is. Jeremy Corbyn has said he'd never use a nuclear weapon, and yet the party which he leads is committed to renewing a, a nuclear missile programme to defend this country against potential nuclear attacks. We are not committed to renewing it. We are accepting the fact that the government has already committed us to spending all this money, and that decision has passed. You will remember that there was a campaign in the Labour Party against it, and that many of us felt that there were better uses of that money. But that decision has now been made. We have that nuclear deterrent, and frankly, my view is, is that we should remain ambiguous as to whether we would use it or not, just as previous Prime Ministers have done throughout the ages. Okay, can I ask one final question about this? Can you paint for me a hypothetical situation where Jeremy Corbyn would use our nuclear missile defence system? No, I don't think this is. I don't think this is helpful. What I'm, I, I think that the the best way of going of, of, of my answering this is to tell you that the, this government has committed all this money. We do have a nuclear deterrent, and I don't think that it's right for us to say whether we would use it one way or another in whatever circumstances. It should remain ambivalent as it always has done. As Margaret Margaret, Tha if you okay. ask Margaret Thatcher so, whether she would have used okay. the nuclear weapons or I not, she would not have answered. And I think but that Jeremy is the best Jeremy Corbyn position. did answer the question, Emily Thornbury. So was he wrong to answer the question? If you believe in ambiguity, was he wrong to answer the question? He definitively no. said he wouldn't use it. Everybody knows what Jeremy's strong position on this is and has been over... You know, has always been. I don't necessarily believe that it will be a decision that will be made by one individual. Okay. I suspect that the way that Jeremy makes decisions is that he takes advice and that we work collectively. I am not prepared to go into whether we would use nuclear weapons or not, whether we would make a decision collectively to use nuclear